Welcome to this training video on Song Surgeon Trainer. What we're looking at in this particular video is the main user interface for Song Surgeon Trainer. In addition to this user interface, there are two others. Down here is a loop editor button, which we'll talk about in a different video. And this second toggle button down here is for an EQ, which we'll also talk about in a second video. So let's review the functions in this main user interface. First of all, we have the open button. And by the way, there are two ways to open files. You can either drag and drop onto this interface, which is an acceptable way, or you can click the open button. And using a dialog window here, you can select a file. And it will open. And once it opens, you can see the name of the file as well as the length of the song, the length of the audio file here. And you will also notice in this main window that you can see the current tempo and the current pitch. Uh, zero half step simply means that it's at default. There's no change has been made. Down here, um, this is just a repeat button. So if it's selected, it will play to the end of the song and then it'll jump back to the beginning and it'll play it again. Stop button. Uh, play and pause button, um, volume slider. Over here then we have tempo and key change and you can either grab the slider and slide it up and down and as you can see the range here is from 50 to 150 percent and if uh, you want to do it a percentage at a time either up or down you can click these buttons down here and this is a reset or a, to default which is 100 percent. Key works very much the same way. You can grab the slider and move it. Uh, and by the way, it moves by half steps. Or if you want to uh, click plus or minus, you can move it by half step at a time up or half step at a time down. And this resets it. On this main user interface, the only other two things that we have then that we can look at are the options and the help button. The options button has two settings in it. The first is a default file path. So when you click this open button, this is the place it's going to go to look for your music files. If you want to change that, just click the button over here with three dots on it and it'll open a dialog window in which you can browse and select a different folder and then you can apply that folder. The other one is this autoplay when opening and that's simply if you deselect it, when you select a file, it doesn't play uh, by default. But if you want it to play and that for me is very useful because you can sort of hear the song in case you don't recognize it by name. That's what this setting will do um, if it's selected. The help button then has a user guide which is a written guide. It's got training videos, a link to the help desk, manual licensing window which again you should not be using unless you're directed to by the help desk deactivate computer. You're allowed three licenses with this product. If you want to remove it from this particular machine, you select this. And just an about button, which tells you something about the, uh, the, the program itself. And it also in this tells you the version of the product, which may be something that's asked for if you ever go to the help desk. So that's it for this main user interface, this main window, and we'd encourage you to watch the other training videos for the loop editor as well as the EQ, which you can find here on this same page. Thanks for watching.